What's going on, Fight Fans? This is Kappa Combat. I'm Rob Jarrell. And this is uh, my initial um, reaction to Terrence Crawford becoming the new undisputed junior welterweight uh, titleist, champion, have you want to say it, with a third round knockout of Julian Sedango from uh, Namibia. 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 Please don't kill me, um, viewers from Namibia. Um, I'm finally getting it right. As you can see, Hakeem has told you, I've been a little bit under the weather. You can see my eyes are swollen. They're red. Um, not feeling great, so I could put my hoodie on, but you can still see my eyes. So, that's neither here nor there. But let's talk about this fight. This is the fight, one of the fights we wanted to see. Not as in the two best guys in the division, but at this point, this was the two best guys in the division because Terrence Crawford had the... W WBC and WBO Junior welterweight titles, and Julius Sadago, who's the one guy who upset the entire apple cart with his knockout over Eduard Charinovsky out of Russia, and Ricky Burns uh, beating Ricky Burns in England, took that chance, they paid him his money, and he goes up against Terrence Crawford, who is a pound-for-pound -pound top 10, he's in my top 5, he should be number 1 right now, because he just became the First undisputed champion in boxing in over 10 years since Jermaine Taylor in 2006 at middleweight. So that should tell you quite a bit about what we're looking at right now. And kudos to him in jumping right in there versus Terrence Crawford after getting those two titles after two fights in which he was brought in against a guy to lose and Edward Torinovsky and knocking him out in one punch coming back against Ricky Burns because Ricky Burns probably and his promoter probably thought that um, and Dongo was the easiest fight to take, which he was wrong because he got whitewashed in um, in 12 rounds. And now he went up against Terrence Crawford in uh, Terrence Crawford's hometown of Omaha, Nebraska, which had an extremely raucous crowd. It was live in there. We got to see Gabazdik take a dub, get a W. We got to see Shakur Stevenson get a W. Mike Indeed Reed out of uh, Maryland take a W. Dillian White coming from England to get a W. And um, Brian Jennings out of Philly coming to Omaha and getting a W. Now, this was the biggest win of the night, the biggest win of Terrence Crawford's career so far as he becomes the first undisputed champion. He looked great in there. He looked sharp, started out in South, Southpaw versus the Southpaw against Julius Sandongo. But you can see that he was much more subtle, and he really didn't take as much time as he used to to kind of figure out his opponents. He was just taking advantage of Sandongo, who looked a little bit tight. He looked a little bit nervous, and the the moment might have got to him a little bit, knowing how big this moment is, not just money, but legacy-wise. And you could tell he was a little uncomfortable. He threw those... Um, awkward, wide shots. They were quick, but Terrence Crawford, if you know him, he's very quick. He's very fast. He's very tough, and he can time just about anyone. Usually, he gets going about the third or fourth round, but here he just found his openings very quickly and got the knockdown in the second round, um, which Ndongo was, was off balance, but he was hit behind the ear, which is a really bad spot to be hit, especially in the head, temple, head, chin, really bad spots. And he was really feeling because Terrence Crawford came right at him and he still was on shaky legs. But this one where he countered and brought that left hand up under Ndongo's rib. And I'm going to be honest, I looked down and all I heard was pow, like someone got shot and I looked up and Ndongo was on the ground. I was like, he ain't getting up. So I just rewind, had to see that replay. Oh man, that was vicious. So um, what do we what do we go to from here? Terrence Crawford is pretty much clean out the division. Um, the next person in line is Sergey Lipinets, um, out of Russia, I believe, who um was next in line for the IBF title. Um, in Dongo, I don't know how they made the uh made the fight, but. Um, they either just skipped over him or they paid him step aside money. But Lippin Nets will probably be the next in line to take Terrence Crawford if Terrence Crawford decides to stay at 140. He could always go at the 147. That's where all the big money fights are going to be. Um, and he has a good chance just about against just about anyone in that division right now, uh, skill wise, size wise, however you want to say it. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything else. Julian Sanongo will probably stay at 140 for now because more than likely Terrence Crawford is going to drop all four belts, 
which leaves all of them up in the air for guys like Lippinets, Ndongo, Broner, Mike Reed, um, Antonio Orozco, a bunch of names of guys. Um, uh, Victor Postal, guys who weren't um, weren't fighting or just hasn't really been able to take on or beat Terrence Crawford. So um, I'm interested to see what's going to happen next with Crawford and Ndongo. Congrats to, to Crawford. We really needed something like this because we haven't seen it in so long because people are so... Um, so determined to keep on to their belts by fighting less of competition instead of the best competition. And Julius Ndongo really stepped up. I, I got to give kudos to him for his wins and for him stepping up when no one else will want to step up against Terrence Crawford, especially with all the belts on the line. And um, that's all I got for you today. If you have anything else, just put it in the comments below. Hit us up on our social media. Um, cap a comment at Facebook. Um, Capital Combat at Google Plus, Twitter, Instagram, of course. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, share with your friends. We're trying to get as many subscribers so we can bring you more content. Um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Until next time, fight on. This is round one, and you've already lost. They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming.